You know, one of the easiest ways to get a big bang for your buck when it comes to fruit pies is a lattice top. A lattice top crust looks complicated and makes everyone think you're a pie genius, and that's fine with us, right? So we're not gonna tell anyone just how simple this really is. So to do a lattice, you'll need enough dough for a top and a bottom crust. You'll line your pie pan the way you normally do, and then you'll let the edge drape over the side of the pan. Now go ahead and refrigerate this pie shell. Then go ahead and get your other chilled portion of dough and roll it into an oval about 13 inches long by 11 inches wide, give or take a little bit. Slide it onto a baking sheet, either on your paper or not, and refrigerate for about 20 minutes while you prepare the filling. Now you could go ahead and just cut the strips right now before you refrigerate it, but you'll find that the dough is easier to handle and cuts better when it's cold. Once your filling is made, preheat your oven, then go ahead and get your filling into the pie shell. Now this is one time when I really like having my ruffled uh, ravioli style pastry wheel because it makes these attractive ruffled edges. Now take a ruler and starting in the middle, cut vertical strips widthwise about as wide as your ruler, maybe one and a quarter inches wide. And then just set these strips aside. Moisten the edge of your filled pie shell, then lay five strips vertically across your filling. Use the longest strips towards the center and save another one of the longest strips uh, for the center one that runs in the opposite direction. Now, fold the second and the fourth strips back towards you a little more than halfway, then lay a long strip across the center just like this. Unfold strips two and four, then fold back strips one, three, and five, and lay a strip right here. Now unfold those strips, then fold them up from the other end and add your last horizontal strip, and then unfold those. When all of your strips are in place, uh, trim off the excess dough from the ends of the strips, leaving them about even with your overhanging dough. Then work your way around the pie, pinching the strips and overhang together, and then sculpt the edge into a nice finished edge. And that's all there is to it. Now, you can glaze the strips if you like with a little bit of milk or cream, like we did with our top crust before, and sprinkle with a little bit of sugar or not, it's up to you, and then just bake the pie as usual. Now, you might need to watch this video a couple of times to get the technique down pat. When I give my pie making demonstrations, I'll often bring along strips of cloth so folks in the audience can come up and practice, and that's always a lot of fun. Now, it's your turn though. Good luck with your own lattice top crusts and let me know how they turn out for you.